I'm joined now in the studio by Peruvian journalist Javier Farhe. Sir, thank you so much for joining us here thank on Al Jazeera. An incredibly complicated uh, situation Indeed, which really sees the president uh, against the Congress. Now, it, it was all down to Viscara effectively closing or trying to close parliament and, and call for elections. That's correct. What do you make of that initial decision of his? Well, there's a division among the constitutional experts in Peru. He used an article of the constitution that enables him to close down parliament if the parliament has been putting obstacles to ruling the country. Uh, some experts believe that that was the right decision because Congress was making it very difficult for him to govern. Other people believe that he has misinterpret the article of the Constitution that enables him to close down Congress. He proposed on the 28th of July on Independence Day his speech to Congress to close down Congress, to resign as president and call early elections. Congress didn't accept that because he's dominated by an opposition that has been against the government. And now he said that he didn't have any choice but to close down parliament. Parliament doesn't accept that, by the way. Well, no, because they're still, they're still there refusing uh, to leave. Congress is anyway. But it's Vizcarra who has the support of the police and the military chiefs. So presumably he still has the upper hand in all of this. Not only that, he has a massive support from the population. There have been demonstrations from very early today. I was following the news all day with Peruvian media, from very early, from 7 o'clock in the morning, people demonstrated in support of Mr. Vizcarra's decision to close down the Congress. So he has massive support in the streets, but also, as you say rightly, he has the support of the armed forces in Latin America and indeed in other parts of the world. If you have the support of Latin America, you have the upper hand. Oh, sorry, of the armed forces, you have the upper hand. Yet, though, Congress, you know, unpopular though they may be, that they're still demonstrating, you know, <clears throat> that they're against him. Where could this lead? Where do you see this going? Well, he's called for elections for January 2020, 2020, which is what the Constitution says. When you close down Parliament, you have to call for early parliamentary election, elections on, uh, you know, in four months. So elections will take place in January 2020. We, it depends to see how uh, the actual international community reacts to this. The Organization of American States, which gathers all Latin American countries, has uh, taken a kind of like a neutral position, but has welcomed, they have welcomed the decision by the president to call for early elections. So it's a kind of like a very soft endorsement of what Mr. Vizcarra has done. But for as long as he has the support of the armed forces and he has the support of the people, then he will, he will be able to get away with this. OK, and just more widely about Peru and how we got here, not necessarily the latest developments with him and then uh, trying to close parliament, but more about the inherent structural problems, I guess, uh, in Peru that have led to this quite extraordinary situation. The key element here is corruption. There's been a huge campaign, Mr. Singh, he took office uh, in March last year when former President Pedro Pablo Kuczynski had to resign because of accusations of alleged corruption. He's been at the forefront of fighting corruption in Peru, which is huge. There's a big problem with all the, all the Brexit, this Brazilian Gulf company that has been bribing Latin American leaders left, right and centre. And uh, the government has been trying to clean uh, the country from corruption. And Mr. Vizcarra believes, uh, not without reason, that the Congress has been putting obstacles because there are people within the Congress who are themselves accused of corruption. So the, the key, the centre point of this situation is the fight against corruption and how he has not been able to do that because Congress has not allowed him to do that. It'll be interesting to see how it develops for the moment. Peruvian journalist Javier Farhe, sir, thank you so much for thank sharing you for your views me. with us. Thank you.